Hi guys, it's Sam here today with Bargain Hunting Blonde, and today I am bringing to you a reveal video and slash a true unboxing. So I literally have just undone the tape on this box because when I opened it and was going to look at it, I was like, oh, I need to film because I need to show you guys how pretty the packaging is, which I was really surprised by. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I did order this through a sales associate through... Bloomingdale's on but like through Instagram and then I ended up texting her all my information and stuff like that but that's how I've been doing a lot of ordering um, still not going into the stores a lot and then on top of it I wanted to go see this bag and I don't have this brand store near me but I do have some like big department store retailers that carry it but none of them had this bag so <laughs> that's kind of the only way for me to get it but let me show you guys just kind of like the packaging so when I just opened this box as you guys can see it is Chloe. This, it was nicely packaged. There's at the bottom here, a little pillow to make sure everything was like not moving around, which is really nice because, you know, I know we've been shipping a lot more stuff just because of everything that's happened with COVID and the pandemic. And then on top of it, um, I know that there's just been a lot of like different shipping issues with like all the different shipping companies. And so it's nice when you get something that's really well packaged because I have got some boxes that have been heavily damaged and I always like worry that whatever's in the box is either not there or also heavily damaged. So like I said, just a sheet of paper, but I thought that was really cute. It does have, I'm not gonna show you guys this cause that's return, but there is a return label in here in case it didn't work out for me. And then I do have the receipt, which is in a nice little Chloe envelope right there. That's really cute. Um, yeah, and oh, and the like official like Chloe tag was in here as well. So very nice. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay. And then the item is in Chloe dust bag, which is just this, just their traditional dust bag, which is like a kind of like white cotton material, and then the Chloe printed in like that kind of beige nude color, which is really pretty. And I did want to show you guys also that. We'll kind of we'll move this guy but like there's even like padding on the bottom so they really packaged it nicely to like make sure that it like got to me and it wasn't damaged and I really appreciate that because like I said I've gotten some very interesting looking packages without further ado let's open this guy I am very excited it is oh let me get out the handles kind of tucked in there there you go it is the chloe woody tote so i do have the matching sandals for this which i don't think i've ever shown on this channel but um i've definitely shown on my instagram because i definitely have worn them um i saw this bag and i loved this bag and then i tried to find a bunch of youtube videos on it and they were just like none i think i found one where someone was doing more of a vlog style and they had come across the bag and purchased it in stores but I really was kind of shocked that I was seeing this bag a lot on Instagram, but I wasn't seeing a lot of YouTube videos. So this is the Chloe Woody, and this is the medium size. So cost-wise, this one is $9.50, which is very sneaky because when I started looking at this bag like two or three months ago, um, it was $8.90. So it did go up in price. They did, you know, one of those sneaky price increases, which I actually like, I mean, obviously it's very annoying, but I don't totally hate because then I think it eliminates the panic buying because you actually like when it goes up in price you're like oh I still actually want that bag and with $8.90 to $9.50 that's $60 which you know is still money but it's not like a Chanel a thousand dollar price increase so that was really nice I did get the brown interior I mean brown leather so you'll see it's kind of hard but this is actually a textured canvas and it's a woven fabric and it is sprayed according to their website with water repellent but they say you know don't like take this out in the rain but it should generally be more durable than just a traditional canvas it does come in different colors of the stripe and then it also does come in full leather so different colors of the stripe that i have seen they do this color that is called i believe it's true blue yeah full blue excuse me full blue which is technically a navy but it straight up looks black they also do a terracotta orange and then a jade green and then this brown so i thought the brown was the most traditional i really liked how it looked with the chloe ribbon right there. I thought that was really cute. And then you can also get this in all leather. I have seen and like why I was delayed on buying this one and why I ended up buying it with the slight price increase is because I had been looking at the leather one and this one and I knew I really wanted this canvas 
but the leather one actually goes on sale. Why I have not seen the canvas one on sale. So I was like, hmm, what should I do? But I saw that Bloomingdale's was having a promotion where if you're a Bloomingdale loyalist, which doesn't cost anything, you could get a $225 dip gift card on this. So that's what I did. And then I'll just use the gift card. I can basically use it on anything at Bloomingdale's. So I'll just use it to buy something else. So I did get a little bit of a slight discount because I did that, but I just didn't love the look of the leather one quite as much as the canvas one. So again, medium size wise, this one is width 14.6 inches, height 10.2 inches, and then the depth is 4.7 inches. So exterior, you guys have basically seen it all, though it does not have feet. It does just have the leather strap does go all the way to the bottom. So this part of the ribbon and the canvas actually don't touch the ground because the leather does stick out, which is nice as the leather is going to be a lot more durable than the canvas. And then let me take out the stuffing. I love these are, I love when they like make them into like little pillows that directly fit in the bag because then I can put this back in the bag to try to keep its shape. So this is the interior of the bag. It is not lined, but it is a darker, actually, maybe that is a lining. No, I think, hmm. Okay, it might be a lining, but I actually think it's just the backside of this material. Uh, it's very nice, but it is um, not like coated or anything like that. It is just like, I believe probably cotton. Oh, and we do have like more care booklet from Chloe. So that would actually probably tell me what the material is in here. But regardless, there is one big back slip pocket and then it is just a true tote. So I could see someone wanting to get an organizer for this, but I am not going to. And I did get this smaller medium size because I wanted something that this is more of a handbag size. And then the next size up is almost more of like a never full tote size. And as you guys know, I have a ton of totes and I wanted something that was much more of a handbag. So that's why I went with this one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, the strap drop on this is 8.7 inches. So it's a pretty good strap drop, which is nice because you can like, if you were using this say in the fall, you could put a, you know, bigger sweater or coat on and still get this bag on your shoulder, which I know sometimes is an issue with some totes because that's just not doable. There is one size smaller than this, which they call the Chloe Small, and it is much smaller than this. It retails for $7.90, and it is just top handle carry and, like, wrist. It does not have the long straps or, like, a crossbody strap to make it more versatile. And then, like I said, you do have the large, which is $1,050, and that is bigger than this. And you can kind of tell when you're looking at pictures on Instagram and stuff like that which bag is which because the... Medium has this smaller strip right here, and then the large actually has a bigger strip that is like the same width as this strip, and that's how you can kind of tell the different sizes because I looked at a lot of pictures. And then the sales associate I did order this from was really nice and sent me pictures of the bag on her. Uh, she is shorter than me, but it was nice to try to be able to like gauge what it actually looked like since I couldn't see it in person. And I do, I definitely wanted it because I think this is great for summer. And I also think because of the colorway I got, this would be really cute actually for fall. I'm not sure I would use it in winter because of it being a not like completely coated canvas, but I would definitely use it spring. So I could see using this spring, summer, fall. I am definitely going to be taking it on vacation with me for my 30th birthday, which I'm really excited about. Probably by the time this video goes up, it'll already have been my 30th birthday and you'll have seen pictures of this on Instagram. But it's very excited to snag it. I know that people have had a hard time finding it um, because a lot of the big retailers are out of it. So like think of like Saks, Nordies, all of that. That's where I tried to try it on and they were out. But if you do go to the Chloe website, they do normally have it in stock. And if they don't have it in stock, when you go check, check back in a couple days. I've noticed they've been restocking like pretty steadily. I also thought this was a good price point for a designer bag because it is under $1,000. Sorry, guys. Like it's hard to get me and <laughs> the bag in the screen at the same time. But I'm really excited to use this. I think it'll be a really cute bag. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, I love this sort of like uncoated canvas bag for spring, summer. I do have a Celine and I do have a Saint Laurent as well. And I just think they're really cute and they're really fun. Um, and they look so great with like summer dresses and like Hermes sandals and stuff like that. So if you like to see reveal videos, handbag comparisons, and handbag reviews, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. 
If you want to see how I style my bags, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.